All right, let's talk a little bit about some of the basics of, uh, of Drupal. Um, this is a site I've set up on, on a, on a uh, server called Drupal Gardens, which is kind of the equivalent of uh, WordPress.com. That is, it's a, a site that does free and paid hosting of the Drupal software. So Drupal is oh, free and open source, and you can install it on your own server. But if you don't want to put it on your own server, you can also put it here. Uh, you can also kind of just do a, a basic install here on uh, Drupal Gardens, which provides you with a number of modules, but you can't actually, and a number of themes, but you can't actually upload your own modules, which is the equivalent of plugins in WordPress. That is something that extends the functionality of, of Drupal, and you can't do your own theming. So you've got some limitations, some handcuffs on you. But to, to kind of explain the basic structure, it's not bad. And it actually, when you install Drupal, it won't look like this. This is a, a Drupal 7 installation, but it won't look like this. Uh, Drupal Gardens gives you kind of a nice layout with, with uh, you know, an about page with a... Uh, with a Google map already embedded. I'm not actually on Hilda Romstadt, but you get the idea. Um, so it kind of just sets you up and, and gives you some, some default stuff you can kind of fill out a bit. So let's go ahead and log in. I don't want to join a mailing list. Where am I going to log in? Let's go to log in. And um, we'll put in my username and my password if I could remember it. Um, we don't need to remember it. I'll try to remember it myself. And so it allows me to log in. Now that I'm logged in, I get this admin bar across the top. Um, and we could look, for example, at the structure of the site where it gives you a number of things we can change in terms of the way the site is structured, which we'll talk about in more detail later. We could change the theme if we look under appearance. Um, there's a number of things we can do up here. I'm going to start by creating some new content. Um, and uh, I'm going to do that under content. And then I'm going to do add content. Now, uh, if we looked at the, um, I'm going to back out for a second. If we look under structure, you can, oh, it's not under structure, I'm sorry, under modules. You can see the a list of modules that are installed and the ones that are enabled. So again, you can't install new modules, but there are a number here that are enabled. One of them is the poll module, which allows my site to capture votes on various topics. So let's go ahead and go to content and add a new poll. So we're going to add content and we'll add a new poll. Now, a poll is a piece of content, and a piece of content in Drupal is a, called a node. So there can be any number of nodes out there, and they're of different types. And basically, any website is just a collection of nodes, and those nodes are different things. In this case, this is a poll node. So let's say, um, is Drupal rad? And we'll just have a yes, um, a no and a maybe and we'll uh, front load it <laughs> okay um any node on drupal if it, it can can have tags associated with it this allows you to do something called faceted search which is a great way of organizing content so we'll just say uh, this is about drupal and about um decision making and i don't know what else it would be this is an active poll. It's of unlimited duration. Again, these things at the bottom um, can vary depending on what um, what modules you have enabled, uh, but they're, they they'll appear at the, they'll appear associated with any node. So we've got a menu setting. This isn't going to be in the menu. If I clicked on this, it would actually be on that menu on the front page. Um, this says we don't have to worry about that, whether it's been revised. If we wanted to change it, it's going to assign uh, a URL to it automatically, but I could give it a URL that I wanted it to show up on. Um, do we want to have comments? Let's go ahead and allow it to have comments. You can have comments on anything. I'm the author, and that's fine. Um, and do we want this on the front page? Um, right now it's set up to be promoted to the front page, so I'm going to publish it. I could have saved it as a draft. I could have previewed it, but I'm going to go ahead and publish it right off. And now we have a um, uh, a page here where it's and it's set up here to to um, do some editing on it, but I'm okay with it. Just uh, close this out for now. Now we have a. Uh, a new page here and it says it's been created and you'll see that if you look up here at the URL it's under content 
Drupal rad. Again, we could have adjusted that if we wanted to. Because I'm logged in, I can edit it or look at the results or votes. Um, if I were not logged in, which I'll log out in a second, you'll see what will happen. So let's go ahead and vote no. And now we see that we have, oh, I must have done no instead of yes. I front loaded it against us. So uh, we have three votes for no. I can cancel my vote and make it yes, just to even things out a little bit. Yes. All right, there we go, much better. Um, so, uh, and I could say, uh, silly poll. This poll is kind of ridiculous. All right. And I could have it notify me when there's new comments posted. So this way, if someone um, po posts a new comment, it'll send me an email um, and let me know. So now I have a uh, this poll is kind of ridiculous as a, as a comment. So this is all very basic stuff. Those comments can show up on any node. Um, the types of nodes you have are largely determined by modules, but as we see, you can create new kinds of nodes um, sort of out of, out, of, uh, uh, out of the blue or out of thin air if you need to.